Let's do it. Here, Evo, going down south, South Florida. As you can see, the uh, there's no giveaway here. It's dead in your face. This is a removable hidden bimini uh, for the family when this is doing the sandbar gig, lobster and gig, scalloping, you know, whatever uh, adventures that the kids would want to go in. Anyways, uh, Evo headed South Florida. We're start at the bow. Powerful move. Everybody's been asking, Kevin, is this thing worth it? And I'm going to say the same thing I've been saying on video that I'll say again on video. If you use a trolling motor a lot, let's say more than 70% of the time, it is worth it 100%. Is it expensive? Yes, but it's built to last. I know that they made a sign of NDA. I feel like it was almost five years ago, probably is four, but it was a long time ago. So I know that they didn't rush and bring it to market. I know they took their time, titanium shaft, and I'm not going to talk about the video about the trolling motor, but power pole move. Is it worth it? Yes. Then you have the power pucks. If you're going to mount this on the nose on a traditional setup, yes, it is worth it. I love the guide mount system. But if you fish a lot by yourself or do the freshwater saltwater crossover, you kind of want it on the nose. That's the power pucks. It's also standard on our 25 series. Nothing better than the Marquesa Marine casting platform. Costs a little bit more than the aluminum. Comes at different heights, different shapes. But uh, Hunter has got a good thing going on, a good niche. Uh, we have a piano hinge on the front hatch. We also have the offset cleat. We like that. Again, we talked about the hidden bimini. When I was younger, pre-kids, I kind of used to laugh at this gig. But as soon as you run in one in the hot sun, uh, you'll appreciate it. Doesn't get in the way of fishing. I can still throw a fly with that because, you know, we're throwing sideways. Uh, we're not doing the trout setup like that, uh, as well as conventional. And when it's folded, it lays back here so you can still get access to your hatches. Uh, but if you want to take it off, I think it takes less than four minutes to take it off. Um, side console, another one, less is more, keep it simple. You have a dance floor in this thing. Uh, you can still get your rods on the uh, starboard side, easy. Um, I love this setup. Speakers on the front, again, doing the tunes thing. If you like to have those sounds when you're running, um, you know, that's a good thing to have. There is a grab bar on the other side for the passenger. And then you have the backrest, which is a removable. You have the Sievert step up platform. Uh, Captain Tanner came up with that for us on our boats. The spotter light underneath. Then we have the lean bar tubes wrapped in the black Raptor texture coat finish. Uh, a little stronger than your traditional powder coating. Dive ladder and mount. V-Marine spools. V-Marine push pole holder up top. One bad mamma jamma matching a bad mamma jamma of a boat. 115 Pro XS CT spinning. This one has got on the 24 pitch Fury 4. Power pole, and this is another first for us. This one's mounted like our 25 series. Instead of mounting it actually to the boat, it's mounted actually to the bracket. So between the jack plate and the transom is the spacer plate for the power pole. Clean look. Rod holders right there as well. Aluminum trailer, stainless steel axle, no service, 100,000 mile hubs, three in one transducer, and a Bob setback jack plate. Another example of what we do. I love this boat. I love the setup. I love the versatility. Um, I love the colors. Just a, another great addition going out there on the water. So, all you guys, Merry Christmas. God bless to the customer. I can't wait for you to get this bad mamma jamma. Have fun. I know you're going to make memories with the kids. And thank you for choosing us. Y'all take care. See ya. Bye.